Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about proteins, part three in the series, okay? In this discussion we're going to talk about lean proteins versus fatty proteins. Now if you've never heard this before or heard me talk about it, click the video below, watch that first because this goes against exactly what you've been taught your whole life, that you have to consume low fat lean proteins, right? You go to the store and what do you see? You see low fat yogurt. You have to see low fat cheese, right? Low fat milk. Well, what happens on the insulin scale, there's, an, there's such a thing like an insulin index. Those are all the relative foods that will influence insulin that aren't necessarily carbohydrates. Okay, so the goal is to avoid triggering insulin. Why? Because insulin raises um, the chance of getting fat. Insulin increases the risk of getting diabetes and it creates a lot of other issues. But here's the thing. Low on this insulin scale is fatty foods, okay? So the more fat the protein is, or the more fat that you consume, it's lower on the scale than the leaner type proteins. Like what's the, the most lean protein you could imagine would be like a whey protein powder, right? Well, that's very, very high on the insulin scale. That will spike insulin way more than butter. Of course, people trying to lose weight would avoid the calories for butter, but what they're doing, they don't realize that's a neutral with insulin, it doesn't trigger insulin. So it's not necessarily the low calories that causes weight loss, it's the low insulin that creates weight loss, okay? So this is a kind of a new thing for a lot of people. But let's just take an egg, or egg beaters, which, which is basically egg whites. If you just eat the egg white, that stimulates insulin more than if you eat the whole egg or the egg yolk because we need the fat in it, right? So what am I saying? I'm saying that when you consume protein, okay, don't go for the lean thing. Don't go for the uh, skinless uh, chicken. Uh, you know, if you don't like the skin, that's fine. But the point is that don't be afraid of having the whole food together as one unit or more fat in your, your burger or whatever. That's not the problem. It's when you combine the, the starches and the sugars. But doing this will make you very satisfied so you can go longer without having to eat. And when you don't eat, the insulin goes down. So it's a really uh, a good thing to help reverse insulin resistance or pre-diabetes states. Now, the other day I, I consumed a big salad and I consumed, and I was out to a restaurant and some lean steak, right? There was no fat in it. I was starving about 30 minutes after that meal and I had a huge salad. Why? Because I had no fat. So it leads me to snack. I needed more food and it spikes insulin because every time you eat, you spike insulin. So we don't want multiple meals. We want three meals a day and we don't want to have snacks in between, okay? So make sure you adjust your fats so you can go longer and you're satisfied, all right? But always go for the fattier protein versus the lean protein, all right? Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.